You already had a body count. It's about to be a lot higher. Holy! No! We're too late! Don't. No! Are you effing joking? I thought Fabuki was gonna use her 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 forte and just you know just on the ball. Please let me be wrong. Oh! Bro, if there were casualties, that oh my! Just now. Where did it take place? I don't know, but hey, Fubuki, let's go over here. So follow me. Okay, Yuma's more honest than me. Well, wow. can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> he's like a, he's like a, so, a social compass. I am actually, un, I'm not good, bro. Oh my god, this music. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There's a crowd. No. Phone booth's been blown away. Was that the explosion earlier? Did someone, did someone get caught? A public phone exploded. Maybe the batteries were overcharged. <laughs> From the looks of it, the silver lining is no one's been injured in the explosion. Dude, thank God. There's something on the transceiver. What you I'm... heard wasn't some mere explosion. It is the call to rebellion. Who is the this? The smoke you see isn't just the smoldering ash of a stamped out flame. It is the signal for revolution. What? What? This message... Th that doesn't even sound like... Shaichi, what? Servan, can you hear me? Servan? Shaichi, please answer me! What you're about to hear echo across Kanai Ward is the song of revolution. Revolution inevitably requires sacrifice. No. Uh, Beloved citizens falling as casualties cannot be avoided. Yes, it can! Hold up! However... Death comes equally to us all. Equality is revolution. This is trash. They're literally scum. That being said, a revolution must also be fair. Thus, since you were the one to plant the bombs, I will also give you a chance to stop them from exploding. What the frick? R Riddler? The riddle? Did the bombs? I mean, it's not a riddle. Me? It's... <sighs> Something is... Uh, dude, Shaichi... <sighs> So, Yuma, you were not setting up surveillance cameras. I had no idea you were a bad boy. Oh, no. I... Wait till father hears about this. You were planting bombs? <laughs> Apparently we... No! You have set four bombs around Kanai Ward. Oh. One of them just detonated. Dude, oh my god, the academy. That's the worst. The first bomb was a demonstration, so the damage was minimal. But now you've seen this message is no joke. The bombs are real. <sighs> this message is so oh. long. I'm bored. <laughs> I'll leave the rest to you, Master. I, I, I can't even get mad at her because I said the same thing. Oh, doing all these chores. I'm so bored. <sighs> Wait, is this not narrated? The bombs will detonate in the order you set them up. You're the only person who can disarm them. Here is how to do so. When it's on, to move the transceiver close to the bomb and cut the detonation circuit. However, to cut a detonation circuit, you must perfectly execute the steps as displayed on the transceiver screen. You have 60 minutes to act. What? Whether to disarm the bombs or not is up to you. This is the dumbest. It, it, it defies all logic. Once the timer reaches zero, this transceiver will explode along with the bombs. Meaning, you cannot avoid death. Even if you ignore the people and try to flee, there is no escaping the revolution. You decide the future of Kanai Ward. That's so dumb. I wish you luck. Wh why? Why me? Genuinely, why him? Why are you punishing the only guy? Well, not the only guy, but like, dude, the WDO is getting... I would say the WDO would be all over you. Because, you know, you're a terrorist, but uh, they kind of have a problem with the trains. Hey, uh... <laughs> you really get dragged into trouble all the time. It's really not fun anymore. This isn't funny. The countdown's already started. If I don't disarm the bombs, then I'll blow up with this watch. Then just take it off. Uh, can I do that? Oh, all right. No, it's locked. Oh, God, it won't come off. What's going on? Is it locked? Maybe it explodes if you force it off. Yeah, I've played other games where that happens. Maybe don't mess with it, Yuma. You should have mentioned that earlier. 
Also, do you know what a prime root is? You might need to learn, learn that. Oh, Breaking I'm unhappy. News from the Amaterasu Corporation Peacekeepers. Oh, what the freak? Hello, Tom, my slaves of Kanai Lord. Is that, is that Cyborg's dad? What the? Are you loving your happy subservient life? It's your Peacekeeper Counterterrorism Squad Leader, Guillaume Hall. Uh, how did you get this job? <laughs> what are you, like 12? I... Oh, God. <laughs> I hate terrorism! <laughs> That's so silly! <laughs> Special party trick is fortune telling! Here it goes! This is... This is, this is too much. <clears throat> Bad luck today for anyone with a Berenice's hair constellation sign! Some jealous Baldi is gonna kill you. What? By the way, the guy behind me is Dominic. As you can see, he's an absolute intellectual. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on and say hi, Slowpoke. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I guess, yeah, I mean, we were just talking about Starfire. Where's the other Titans at? Hmm. I'll be least for You silly. And green. Like me. Hmm. Uh, uh, nice to meet you, sir. Wow, that was kind of philosophical, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I wonder if my slaves in Kanai Ward got that. Uh. Anyway, did you know there was an explosion in Marnamon District? How many died? None? Well, not like I care. The resistance caused the explosion in Doya District. The peacekeepers received their proclamation loud and clear. Look here. Read it, Nugget. Whoa. Ooh. Well, he he can't talk. He's got a you know mouth mouthpiece. What is this supposed to be funny? I'm not. Summary, that's all there is. We set up the bomb as an act of terror, but thanks to some leaks, we've already identified the perpetrator. You're joking. It, do the peacekeepers enter? What is going on? Oh no, our mugshot. You can't make him intimidating, even if you try. <laughs> As you know, Kanai Ward is a town of justice. Terrorists have no human rights here. So it's a manhunt? Everyone, kill him on sight. Oh my god. <laughs> the peacekeepers say it's A-OK. -okay. Hey, you underhanded, rotten, bottom-feeding terrorist bomber trash. You listening? You've That's got awful. nowhere to run. We literally have nowhere to run. We are screwed. Okay. But we have we have to stop the bombs. Come on, do something, you nitwit. Ooh. Uh, oh, okay, I thought you had Mega Busters. Okay. Uh, might as well. Okay. Is this a joke? Why am I? Hey, I think I recognize <laughs> that face. <laughs> you got me. I wait. I'm uh, not a terrorist. I've been set up. A set up? So your client tricked you? That's all I can think of, since she said there was a leak. Was it intentional, though? Is there a mole inside of Shaichi's group? So Shaichi and the Resistance tricked me? Uh, they I... took advantage of me? Maybe not all of them. God, I'm just I'm too nice, bro. I'm trying to like, no, come on. It couldn't have been all of them. It could have been what's her name, but come on. He spoke so passionately about peace. Was it all a lie? I don't know. I, I just truly don't. Like, call me a simp, but, like, dude, Servon and, and Shaichi, they seem like the real deal. I'm not buying it. You won't oh. fight them with violence. It would only lead to more lives lost. We're going to take them down the right way. The Resistance are not terrorists. Yeah, that'd be quite the heel turn. Just saying. How could this be the right way? You were supposed to reject violence. I don't. I. I truly can't think of any other possibility, though. They were pretty violent from the moment you were taken to their hideout. Maybe I'm just too gullible. W well It's fine to be all sentimental or whatever, but you should take a look around. Huh. Did they uh, already notice me? Oh my god. The explosion countdown is still ticking away. There's no time to stand around and think. And we don't have Dezuhiko's disguise. At this rate, you're gonna end up dying as a terrorist! I don't want that. 
We have to go disarm those bombs. Oh, but first, there's still time until the next explosion. We should visit the Resistance's hideout. Are you? Are you? Are you for real? Like you're trying to? Like we don't. We do not have time to wait for the bus. The boom killing them is payback for tricking you, right? Uh, uh, I'm not capable of that, Shinigami. You know this. Of course not. I need to talk to Shachi and find out the truth. Master, you still believe these people can be reasoned with? I'm on Shinigami's side. It disgusts me to say that, but like, it's a lost cause, bro. I. Yuma, is something the matter? Are you sure we should not be in a hurry? Dang, Fubuki spin facts. We gotta go. Fubuki, please hear me out. Even if the next bomb is disarmed, there are two more. Right now, we have a grace period of 60 minutes. But we don't know if the same will be true of the rest. That's why we need to stop this whole plot while there's still even a little bit of extra time remaining. So you have a plan then? I'm going to see the client. If the client really is behind this, then I have to try and convince them to stop. That's not gonna fly, bro. I doubt it'll go so smoothly. D uh, Shinigami's spitting facts. We need to just go to the bombs. Anyway, we am, am, am I at a lot? We can think about it later. Very well. Danger always accompanies adventure. True. I will stay by your side. Fabuki, you really shouldn't. After all, you're the last survivor's uh, partner. Uh, I mean, I need a friend right now, but still. Thank you. Also, I still believe everyone is alive. The Resistance hideout was in Doya District. Don't come crying to me if this all goes south. I don't like this, bro. What? They have to have some humanity, though. Right? Oh my god, what is this new soundtrack? Oh gosh. Oh, I can't take the bus. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, the meat, the meat stand guy's got his knife out. He's looking for us. Wanted criminal? What the heck is going on here? Oh wow! These must be the ruins of an ancient <laughs> civilization. You're not wrong. And some of them do be acting kinda savage. Not really. Most people would just call Doya District the slums. Oh, I see. Apologies for my ignorance. I suppose this is a lifestyle where you stay in harmony with nature. It's, it, I don't think it's their preferred way of living. But... Wait, Fubuki. Those are peacekeepers. They're already here? Huh? No. The peacekeepers are on the move after that explosion. The client's hideout is up ahead. We need to move carefully so they don't see us. But why did the Resistance issue a declaration anyway? They would have known this was going to happen. Right. I think it's fa- Did they get infiltrated by a peacekeeper member? There's no way Shaichi would- mm. You never know, though. They could be pretending to be a member of... Ugh. There's just so much weird stuff happening here. Uh, you good, Fubuki? I'll, I'll try my best to defend you. Not that you need defending, but... Oh. There's the fugitive! This is bad. This is really bad. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, Fubuki. See? This is why I was against the plan! Kind of spitting. Fubuki, please follow me. We're running. Right. Get back here. Oh no, don't fire. No. No, stop. Time. It was time stop. You're effing joking. I effing called it. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but. Oh, right. She's got a claw. It wasn't, it wasn't that obvious. I mean, it was pretty obvious. When you think about it like that. Cool. That kind of stinks. I just kind of, you know. Oh, it was time stop. The clock lady had time abilities. Oh no, it, it saps her life force or some crap. Huh? No. What was that? I didn't do anything. Yuma, the peacekeepers are catching up. Dang, Fubuki, you you are actually the strongest. Find some place to hide. You like it's not even close. All right. I guess she can only do it so often though. Crud, man. What is she? Oh. Peacekeepers who just surrounded us. Fubuki, was that your forte? It feels like time was reversed. Hold on, it wasn't just a feeling. Time really was turned back. That is utterly ridiculous. Like, stopping time is one thing, but going back in time? 
Girl, your your stand is cracked. I mean, your forte is cracked. Uh, you noticed? But I should be the only one who can detect the reversal of time. Wait, you're blushing? Oh, I guess it, it sapped a lot of her energy. You know, she's like her cardiovascular system's wrecked. Yuma, are you also a Crawford family? Oh family? no! Are you my long lost brother? I really hope not. Wait, I mean, you know, Kur Kurumi. Oh God, I. Just uh, anyway. No, I'm not. If I was, this would be really weird. But I do have the ability to share another master detective's forte. Specifically, when we hold hands. Oh, right. I was holding your hand back then. I didn't even notice. Wow. So you can share fortes. I see. Yeah, it's a really cool ability. We have 60 minutes. Can we <laughs> walk and talk? It appears my maiden secret has been exposed by you, Yuma. Don't make it weird. Fubi, I'm really trying to... Like, you're a you're very kind lady, and I don't want to... It is true. I can reverse time. That being said, the amount of time I can reverse is limited. That's probably how she survived the sub. That doesn't explain everyone else making it out, though. Also... The amount I reverse is proportional to my fatigue. Even now, I feel... Are you alright? Yes. I am fine. There's no need to worry. I can still move. I'm still kind of worried, though. Please... Interesting. Live. <laughs> I get now how this airheaded sheltered skink got into the WDO so effortlessly. Yeah, her forte is pretty freaking strong. Turning back time is an insane powerful ability that far surpasses human limitations yeah what is she like a vampire or something <gasps> that's what they are fabuki you're british a vampire and you can stop time no way oh, if there are people with abilities like this i'm gonna fit oh, into oh, the background i mean aren't you already a background character your forte is pretty oh, useful for gone. avoiding peacekeepers so is it okay if we continue to hold hands for now? Yeah. Just in case. What a gentleman. He asks before grasping her hand. <sighs> I I, how, how can you not like this guy? By holding hands and receiving permission to share your ability, I can turn back time too. All right, so she doesn't have to, you know, shoulder all the burden. You can do that? After all the training I had to do. <laughs> I mean... I can't do it without you. I knew you were no ordinary person, <laughs> Yuma. Oh, goodness. But do we really have to hold hands? I have never held hands with a man before. So Yuma's a man. He's a man. He's not 11. He's a, it's a Detective Conan situation. He just, you know, he's a little... Just, he, he shrunk in the wash. Okay. My ability won't work properly otherwise. I promise y your your future husband or wife will not care. I see. I uh -oh. understand. Let's put it out loud. In that case. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's like the one part of One Piece. I'm not gonna spoil One Piece, but like, bro. What's wrong, Master? When our hands met, I sensed Fubuki's fatigue. I guess turning back time is extremely straining. I mean, think about it. You may have to just envelop the entire galaxy in an aura. Eh, probably just the Earth, but... Even if the power is amazing, we can't continue to rely on it. Keep moving carefully so you don't get caught by the peacekeepers. Oh, God. Yeah. Is this a stealth segment? Let's head to the hideout. Oh, crud. I did not memorize this map. Dog. But this is really effing cute for people that ship them, I'm sure. <laughs> when the whole... The whole game's holding hands, but oh man, I don't even want to talk about this music. What bad timing! Oh, it's probably one of the uh, QTE segments. Uh, go left. Fubuki, now! Right, understood. <laughs> Dang, actually, pretty decent mocap. Okay, okay. Soundtrack of this game. There's a couple of repeating tracks, obviously, but a lot of them are really good. Oh. Uh! Been spotted. Just, don't say it so loud. Mm, maybe Who's there. <laughs> he is not very observant. Oh my. Where did they go? I guess I can't see much in those masks. <laughs> Looks like 
they're gone. <laughs> they're only looking for Yuma, not Fubuki. Let's go while we can. That's how she gets away with it. Oh my god, she's just a joke machine. Goodness. Oh we no. finally made it. This is the resistance hideout. Fubuki, are you alright? Yes. Though I am a bit tired and my mind is a little hazy. You should hide somewhere and rest. It might be dangerous inside the building, so I'll go in alone. But I am your only surviving partner. Yeah, only survive. I only have one partner. Yeah, it's you. No, please, save your strength. I'll ask for your help when I need it. All right, we meet. might need to get away. Just so saying. Everyone is alive. I'm sure of it. If you insist. <laughs> Very well. I will stay put and rest. All right, carb up, girl. Get one of those meat buns. Actually, maybe don't get one of those meat buns. I I still feel like it's soiling green or something, but, you know. Master, you're so kind. Finally, so noticed. His undeniable boy-like charm. You never treat me like that. <laughs> I want to be treated kindly, too. Uh, there's something called the Golden Rule, Shinigami. Ever heard of it? She's actually smitten by Yuma. Like, this is confirmation. I'm surprised she even came out and said it. Also, I just want to sit on this screen, because she would be wagging that tail around like crazy. It's so fun. There's no time. Let's go. And he's like, strictly business. For good reason. If he doesn't act now, Kurumi could be collateral damage. It's awfully quiet. Can't allow that. There's no one on lookout, either. They all got killed, didn't they? Is this the terrorist hideout? Ooh. Someone's here. Hide. What? Again? Oh, my God. What? How'd they get in here? Their leader, Shachi, should be here somewhere. We must capture him at all costs. But Servon had like a billion cameras. That means they're not here. Bro, what? Hey, open up. Open up immediately. We know you're in there. Do they have correct answer? Dude. The peacekeepers are looking for Shachi too. Oh, then it's He's anything. Mad. Hey, wait. What? <gasps> no, he he's alive. He got out. What? It's Shachi. Stop, Master. If you go out there now, the peacekeepers will see you. Right. What? Are there any others? Or is he? Oh, what is going on here? He ran to the roof. Damn it. He locked the door. Hey, open up. Shachi ran to the roof. We have to get to him somehow. Mm, dude, no. Screw that. Try, try and see if there's anything in the computer. But area. How? I don't know. Actually, no. That's a bad idea. I don't know. I'm scared. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking out! The have forced Shachi to the rooftop. There's no one on this side. I have to follow Shachi right now. Really? Okay, I mean, that's not what I would do. The stairs are the only way to the roof. Oh, the, the other path. The peacekeepers are here. R right, right, right. If they see me, I'll be the- Huh? Are you gonna run? You're just gonna forget about that Shachi guy? No, there, there's an alternate path, Shinigami. Not at all. Do you remember those emergency stairs yeah, to the roof? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't remember how to get there, but... Shachi ran to the rooftop. Then he must have used the emergency stairs. Oh, right. We're just gonna, like, meet him around back. Oh, right. So you're gonna get the jump on him. Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah. Let's go catch that fraudster before the peacekeepers do and make him cough up the tree. <laughs> that was a very cute... Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Also, we have Fubuki out here who is, like, kind I of... I don't see Shachi around. Is he still on the roof? Oh. I should head to the roof for now. Wait, we're doing we're doing that? We're not waiting for him to come down? I'm so scared. What is about to happen? Like there's peacekeepers around. Uh, this part this chapter is just getting good though. Come on. Don't let anyone die! Oh what? my god. Was that a gunshot? Yo! Master, no. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, let's hurry. That was Shaichi's gun. Right? I mean, you know what they say, Chekhov's gun, Shaichi's gun, same crap. They're showing it off. He shoot himself? Dude. Are you serious? There's, this just doesn't make sense. I couldn't believe what I saw. A sea of blood. The sight of which I still haven't gotten used to. Within that strangely colored pool, a corpse lay. A corpse that undeniably belonged to Shachi. His eyes were wide open, and a tunnel connected the two holes on the sides of his head. Oh my god. But stranger still, 
no one else was around. Yeah, because he killed himself, Yuma. A gunshot just rang out. There was no place to run, no place to hide. <gasps> Yet, not a soul was to be seen. There's no way this wasn't a suicide. You cannot, you cannot gaslight me into thinking that. But... Hey, what was that noise? Oh, Open no. Open up right now! <laughs> the peacekeepers sound frantic on the other side of the door. Looks like it's still locked from this side. That means the only way to enter and leave the rooftop are the emergency stairs I just used. But no one came down the stairs after that gunshot. No matter how you look at it, this must be a suicide. Unless his gun was specifically designed to gravitate toward the metal plate in his head and lock onto his arm and shoot himself. But I mean, come on. That'd be a little stupid. Aww, we finally get a corpse and it's just suicide. That's no fun. Yeah, I think this is just genuinely a suicide. I You're joking. You're actually joking. Ah! What's the second bomb we placed? That restaurant. Oh my god. What? Another explosion? This is not fun. That one must be really close by. The countdown isn't at zero yet. So it's a different explosion? It, so was the countdown just a lie? Besides, the next bomb to explode is the one at the cafe in oh. Ginba District. Oh, right. Okay, so I, I got them mixed up. Oh, I don't understand. What's going on here? This is so unfair, dude. Yuma is such a pure soul. I mean, he's killed a bunch of people, but... Uh, putting him through this? Like, dude, if he had, if he didn't have a bad enough conscience... Like, Master! In times like these, you should look for the solution keys. There should be clues that help solve the mystery. We ain't got mother effing time for the mother effing mystery keys. Kurumi school is gonna effing explode, Shinigami. Right. Nothing will be solved if I keep panicking. Okay. I, I need mean, to investigate the scene and figure out what's going on. Okay. We'll, we'll make us happy because they're freaking right there. <sighs> I'm, I'm turning into a muppet. I don't. I don't. Okay. 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 Go. 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 Fast. 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 It's just an ordinary gun, because that is my... Oh. Shachi's right hand is still holding the gun. Did he shoot himself in the head like this? I, I know it's an anime game, but genuinely, this crime scene is effed up looking. The fact it's a 3D model and his face is just so detailed, I just... Uh, I too much to be annoyed. If I might pure kind of turn the camera off, I'm sorry. I recognize this gun. It's the one Shachi took out of the safe. I think it was specially made for him. Hmm, specially made, eh? Tying to his own gun is a fitting end for a fraud like him. Maybe you should inspect the gun. You might find something suspicious about it. Right. I mean, I don't really know my guns, but... It's a revolver. There are six rounds loaded in the cylinder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we should put this down, Yuma? Wait. On closer inspection, one of the shell casings is empty. At the very least, it means one shot has been fired from this weapon. The muzzle is still hot, and I can smell gunpowder. Maybe Shachi really did shoot himself in the head with this gun. Yeah, I think so too. What? Where are we? What are we doing with it? But still, this gun is strange. Strange? How so? Try swinging at the cylinder. It pops out sideways. What's she talking? See, the cylinder swings out to the right. Okay. Regular revolver cylinders usually swing out to the left. Is Shaichi left-handed? Is that where you're going with this, Shinigami? And yet this one swings out on the opposite side. Because it's strange. I I don't know. Now that you mention it, it is opposite from normal ones. Hmm. Even you can tell that much, huh? Maybe you held a gun before you lost your memories? The recoil alone would tear Yuma's arm off. I'm not calling him puny, but come on. I don't know. I do sort of remember the feeling of gripping a handle and the smell of gunpowder. Oh my god, maybe I'm wrong. I swear to god, though. I had a, I had a, I had a hellish nightmare. If they make this game where it's like, you know, Yuma was actually number one. But making the pact with Shinigami made him a boy again. Also, he's Kurumi's grandpa. Like I will, I would genuinely hate hate this. 
I would genuinely never play. No, I'll play all those games again. But like, come on. That is my biggest effing fear. Just let Yuma and Kurumi just have a happy ending, you know? I mean, unless Yuma is a man, I still kind of confused about the age thing, but I, I fear that's where the game is going. Oh yeah, a man is dead. I should focus on that. It was probably just something I studied as a detective in training. Right, though. right. You weren't, you weren't number one just blasting fools, right? Yeah. For now, I'll remember the gun's features. It might be some kind of clue. Gotcha, gotcha. Man, I just, I just can't believe we, we got, we got another case like really fast. want to remember this. Uh, okay, and then just all that stuff says the corpse. Nothing else is weird about this person. Body. I think it's still warm. The holes in his temples look raw. There's no doubt that this was the fatal shot. Oh, 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 leave the body's wounds to me! Uh, what are you gonna do to him? What the heck? Mm -hmm. There's no doubt he was shot. That's definitely a gunshot wound. I was just about to uh, suggest you could, you know, possess his corpse again and get the peacekeepers off our tail. But yeah, with a wound like that, I think that would just terrify them. Blood penetrated his head and flew off somewhere. It looks like it entered through the right temple and traveled straight through the left one. Are you sure about that? If you doubt me, why don't you dig through his head yourself? I'm good. And also, yeah, looking at his corpse right now, he fired the gun with his right hand. So, RIP. First off, Shaichi. I mean, I truly want to think he was a good guy still, but yeah, he was most likely not left-handed. No, I believe you. But then why does the bullet... Why did the bullet... I don't know. But the wounds are f fresh. That we know for sure. Oh, that's a beautiful graphic. Yeah, I... Man! It is... Wait, that... That's all we got. What? Really? Uh, oh, you know, maybe check out the blood. Or something. Whoa, 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 what is this? Oh, it's just normal umbrella. There's an umbrella here. It's rusted, so it must have been left here for a while. Is there anything weird about it? Like, it looks like it's almost pink on the other side. Do you see that? Could it have anything to do with the case? Turn it over, turn it over. No. Oh, dang it. Uh, I think it was just a reflection. Like it maybe uh you know the true culprit. Oh frick! They're actually just banging on the door. Oh god. Uh, um, you know they use that umbrella to shield themselves from all the blood that happened. And a neighboring building. The neighboring building is taller than the hideout. Oh yeah, so they couldn't jump to that building and escape. There are no windows on the side facing us, so it'd be impossible to jump over there. But what if they load in something that flies, like a hot air balloon? Or one of those fancy drones? The electrical lines would get in the way. Oh, okay. Those look like high voltage lines. Touching them in the rain would be dangerous. I guess we can rule that out then. Hmm. This is this is almost a locked room scenario. I mean, it's not, but do I really have to check this? Open up! Open up right now! There are still peacekeepers behind the door. It sounds like they're having trouble breaking it down. That's good. Hopefully it stays that way. But it's only a matter of time. I get better your investigate your quickly and get out of here. Yeah, I agree. I'm sorry. I clicked. Oh, what's this? Wait, what? Seems like this is an exterior key for locking the door from the rooftop. Homie, this was a suicide man. It's still in the keyhole. Maybe Shachi locked it when he went out to the roof. Bro. The peacekeepers are behind the door. So no one could have passed through there after the gunshot. That's if it's a third party. What if the peacekeepers got to the roof first? Right, and who's to say there wasn't somebody already on this rooftop? After killing the guy, they went back and closed the door behind them to pretend it was locked. No, no. But the key is on this side. Yeah. It'd be impossible to lock it from outside after going back in. But uh, now, uh, for some reason, I do think someone... Shaichi joined someone on this rooftop. That is not an impossibility. Besides, there's no need for them to put on an act. Well, that's fair. This key is weird. Why is it weird? I can't put my finger on it. I mean, I literally can't put my finger on it because it's stuck in the door. But you, you know what I mean. Rooftop edge. This is the last clue. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. So there's two things here. What's this? That explosion came from over here, I think. I knew it. There was an explosion in the parking lot below. Oh my god, Fubuki. It left a big hole in the hideout's wall. But there don't seem to be any victims. If only we could check out what's inside the hideout. What was that explosion anyway? 
Could it have something to do with Shachi's death? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That means one of the explosions didn't go off yet. We saw off time. The roof is pretty high up. It's about 20 meters tall. It seems impossible to jump to the ground from here. And survive, yeah. There's no ledge to stand on. And no sign that something like a rope has been used. If there's no way to escape the roof, it seems even more likely that this was a suicide. I'm starting to think it's not. Because think about it, right? You could meet up with here and betray Shachi, shoot him, right? Like, there's got to be a mole inside the resistance group. If we think at it from that angle, this seems totally possible, you know? The roof is pretty high up. This straight up might have been Servon, dude. It's about 20 meters above ground. Jumping down from here would be out of the question. There's no ledge to stand on, and no sign that something like a rope has been used. Assuming someone climbed down using a rope after the gunshot, it would have taken some time to remove it. There's no way someone did that without me seeing them, since I got up here in 10 seconds or so. Yeah, that's the big... that's the biggest mystery. If the mole did do that, they probably didn't exit using the emergency exit. This is so weird. I got nothing, and that's exciting, because I kind of figured out, mm, I shouldn't say that, I didn't figure out everything in last case too, where, whoa, 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 oh, I thought that was pink blood, but no, no, that's, <laughs> it's just the lighting. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a surveillance camera set at the entrance and exit of the emergency stairs. Right, so that foot, oh, unless they destroy the, the computers with that explosion. The camera faces the stairs, so it wouldn't capture anything happening on the rooftop. But if we check the footage, we might see if anyone used the emergency stairs. Then again, I didn't come across anyone when I came up here. I doubt someone involved in Shachi's death would show up on there. And someone responsible for putting the cameras up would probably know about the blind spots. Oh, brother. That should be enough. I... This is just such a bummer. I, I, I want to be chip and happy and entertaining Jimbo, but I'm just. I think I've checked everything I can. I'm distressed, now. as I should be now in a murder time case. Time to close the case. What? Unfortunately, it looks like a suicide. After all, it was only around ten seconds after the gunshot went off that you arrived on the roof. If someone was up here besides the dead fraudster, you would have definitely seen them. That's the one thing I can't explain. You're right. I doubt anyone was here. And if they were, where could they have gone? Unlike the clock tower case, it seems doubtful a rope ladder was used here. There's no place to a rope and no time to descend. It'd be super boring if the criminal <laughs> used the same old trick. <laughs> yeah. I, I gotta agree. We can't say for certain this wasn't a repeat performance. But I think you might be right in this case. So... Shachi was cornered by the peacekeepers and committed suicide. If, if you say so, but I, no, I mean, what other conclusion? Okay, get that out of there. Oh, frick! Ah, they broke in through. How this convenient! What happens when you're so slow? <laughs> I was contemplating. I can't think you? and walk at the same what time. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, aren't you the wanted terrorist? No! It's a misunderstanding! I'm not a terrorist! Don't mystery labyrinth us right now. Don't you he, dare. He's dead. So you fought among yourselves, huh? Terrorists murdering each other. You're all trash out to ruin order! No! I didn't do this! Save it for later. You have no right to remain silent. No right to an inter- <gasps> My boy's learning! Let's go! Been a terrorist together! I know he's such a bad boy. Look at him go. That's right. That's what they all say. Fubuki, we got a jet, girl. Get in the car. Are you Fubuki? Oh, we got a car. You don't even have a sub. What about? Can't ditch Fubuki, especially in this part of town. Wait, we have to choose. Right there. Well, how are they just not firing? What do I, do? I mean, I'm thankful, Which way but. Should I go? 
Oh, 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 frick. I just, I literally just picked by accident. Did I mess up? I'm pretty sure this is a dead end. What? Oh. What? No. That's not fair. There's a 50-50. found you. Look at the perfect straw before us. Super C Dominic. What the? Let's dunk his head in the river, then suck the water out through his ass. Potty mouth. Watch it. You love turning terrorists into straws, right? Ooh. This is gross. What's it going to do? Oh, no. There's nowhere to run. We're truly screwed. Almost Fubuki. Yeah. Oh, what an angel. Fubuki, I'm so sorry. I judge you because you're... Oh. No, but... Huh? Dude, she's going to get sick time. or something. Rewind? I, can, I bet no matter what you pick, they appear. Did she pick us up? Must be this way. Oh, hey. Thank goodness. <laughs> Yuma, over here. What a... I'm so happy to see you. Thank God. I'm not okay. This is this is this sucks. I'll never think you're stupid ever again. You're the most perfect, but brilliant soul survivor ever. Uh. Oh, come on, where could they be? Could that terrorist have gotten away? Oh, I guess I don't have any other choice. What are you going to do? Are you just gonna blow up the whole place? According to my fortune, today my lucky item should be a fool's right eyeball. What? Let's see. Now where can I find a fool? <laughs> you better hurry and find that terrorist, or I'll turn you into my lucky item. Good luck, Dominic. This is the vibes are not immaculate, TBA. Like I'm, like she's just the worst. <laughs> like I don't even she haven't done anything. But... <laughs> just look at that mouth. Oh. Ew. You know she's gonna be like a fan favorite character. That was close. Oh, okay. Metal Gear Solid up in here. Fubuki, thank you so much. You turned back time to save me. I saw the peacekeepers were harassing you, so I went ahead and did it. Thanks to you, I escaped their clutches. It's heartening to know I've got a partner like you. Heartening? Uh, is that a? Am I not allowed to say that? I'm. I'm sorry. What? I was rather heartbroken huh no matter how long i waited it did not seem like you would return to me she's crying you made a you made a girl cry you were hold up i mean i was gone like 10 minutes i'm sorry something unexpected happened what happened the client is dead we don't got time we got to disarm that bomb huh? come on now he was still alive when i arrived but after being chased by the peacekeepers he apparently shot himself in the head I guess so they couldn't torture him and learn the identities of the other resistance members. Maybe? Maybe? A suicide? Seems like it. Then... It is my fault. Uh, not even remotely. What? Huh? If I had gone with you, I could have turned back time to save him. Oh my gosh, she's probably constantly thinking this way. How could she sleep at night? Poor Fubuki. No! I think it would have ended the same way. Everything was already in motion from the moment we arrived in Doya District. We truly could not have intervened. Oh my gosh. So you shouldn't feel responsible for what happened. <sighs> Thank you. God dang it. I'm trying to not be a simp, but Jesus Christ. I feel relieved after hearing that. <laughs> I cannot help but think I was responsible. To be able to turn back time means she can even reverse death. That's a huge responsibility. It's too much for one person to shoulder alone. I also wonder if this is why she has memory problems. It still doesn't explain why she can't count to seven, but... I can't imagine all the regret and internal strife Fubuki must have dealt with. Now is not the time to get sentimental. The countdown is still in motion. Yeah, yeah, she's right. Right! I have to do something about the bombs! With Shachi dead, I'm the only one who can stop them. How much time is left? Fifteen minutes. Let us hurry and disarm them. They say to strike while the bomb is hot. Let's stop them while we still can. Alright, I like your attitude. It's while the iron is hot. 
<laughs> Never mind. The second location is the Cafe and Gima district. Okay, so I was right. If it explodes, there's going to be casualties. We need to hurry and disarm it. All right, we won't have time to investigate the inside of the base, though. Yes. Let us do it. Hand in hand. For sure. Okay. Oh, now that you mention it, is it okay for us to hold hands as we go there? Just in case? There are still some peacekeeper patrols around. I think it's safer if I can also use the power to rewind time. You know Shinigami's gonna not, she's not gonna like this. She's not gonna like this. You're gonna say we have ulterior motives. Well, if you do not mind. Oh, I don't mind at all. <laughs> Madame? What? <laughs> that was a heavy sigh. What is going on? So interesting. Lives are on the line in this emergency. But holding a friend's hand. Does it make it feel better? Strangely. It calms me down. Makes me feel like all will be well. I'm glad you're relieved, because I'm effing terrified! Let's I go! I feel the same way. Having a friend by your side is reassuring in times like these. You never said that to me! And we're soul buddies! Let us depart to the Cafe in Ginma district. Is this how Shinigami's going to have her arc? She, oh my god, it's so cute. It's like, uh, all these babes talking to my Yuma? No. She has to confess. I doubt it, because like, he's kind of a goober still, but it's refreshing. He's so cavalier about being a gentleman. Except the whole thing where, you know, he dressed up as a girl, you know, one of the all-girl academy. He didn't, he didn't tell Karumi the truth. Other than that, though, he's got a heart of gold. So if he just tells her that, you know, I'm, I'm happy. Oh, for, oh, I threw my hands on the controller. Freaking. This way. I'm a simple for Yuma. Dude. What's wrong? Not romantically, just, you know. He's a stud. I mean, that's romantic. Just my imagination. Anyway. Fine. Let's head that way instead. I thought we'd hide, like, yeah. I thought we'd pretend to be dinosaurs. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, man, this is, like, one of my favorite tracks. They're over there, too. It's pretty good. It's also, it's also a good loop. All right. Oh, my. Huh? I found the fugitive. Everyone, oh, over here. <laughs> the dude, Naruto run? ran at us. All right. Am I gonna get like a point taken off from that? I'm just saying, Xbox controller, that's what the Y is. I got controller Johns. Focusing, focusing, focusing. I notice my focus in videos, I tend to like tilt my head like this. And I have a very like pronounced, sagittatious brow. So it looks like I'm really mad. I'm not, just focusing. There we go. They would hear our footsteps like crazy though, like real time. If it really was as rainy out as it always is in Kanai. Yuma, say. someone heading this way. What do we do? Hey! Huh? Over here! I saw someone suspicious! Yeah, got it! God, they're so stupid. Alright, let's get out. Fubuki, now's our chance to get out of here! Right! Oh man, I'm so excited. We can look at Fubuki's. Huh? <gasps> you know. I need to really finish this sentence. Her her uh her info car, her ninja locator car. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I'll be sick. Is. That's the second camera I set up. If this one explodes, the cafe will be heavily damaged. I may lose my second home. <laughs> Your second home? Not only that, depending on how strong the bomb is, it could affect all of Gima District. Also, you don't have a first home. The sub exploded. For what? We have to hurry and disarm it. How do we do that, though? Well, the screen on the transceiver changed. Uh, uh, Shinigami just poking you. That's one of the better gags. In order to disarm the bomb, oh my you God. must enter the passcode. Excuse me? I shouldn't touch the bomb itself. I can disable it using the screen. But we don't have a code. Fubuki, stay back. It's dangerous. Please take care of things if I fail. No, I shall stay here. What? We can try again, even if you fail. I mean, that's a really... We have to have really good reaction time. But I can't control the screen while holding hands. Oh. Good point. She, she has a hand that's free. How about this? Oh, my God. Are you sure, Fubuki? We're just friends. We're just friends, Karumi. I promise. I'm faithful. Prepared for this moment since our adventure began. Concentrate on disarming the bomb, Yuma. What the... All right. Okay, no matter what... I need to disarm this before the time limit expires. Don't make me a widow death god. Good luck. <laughs> what the heck happened? Oh, oh, oh frick, it's one of these. Select the correct answer in order to defuse the bomb. Incorrect or going out of the time limit will cause the bomb to explode. 
I'm not good at Sudoku, bro. This is not a Sudoku puzzle. But... Frick. So you just have to choose what should be in that next pattern. So logically, in this situation, yeah, it's it would be where the cursor is selected. Because they're all following a specific pattern. Roughly? I hope I do okay. Here we go. Oh, don't... Huh? Uh, I did not expect this type of user interface, but okay. Uh, this one was in the... Pattern is, y yeah. So they're going like that. Would they be reversed though, or identical? It's like a 50-50, right? No, there can only be one solution. I think it's this. <gasps> oh, what? Error. Error. Uh. <laughs> Bomb will detonate in five seconds. Five. Four. Uh, three. How did I mess up the first puzzle? I messed up! I'm so sorry, Fubuki. You got us? Are you supposed to- Oh my god. Thank you, Jesus. I- <laughs> She's already had to use it twice. Oh, Fubuki. She's gonna have Thank a meltdown. You. Hopefully we can get her some coffee or something. <laughs> I'm a monster! This for you is nothing. Oh my god, what the heck? Please try not to make another mistake. I feel so guilty. Sorry. I'll get it right this time. <sighs> I hope I will. Honestly, though, if this is Desuhiko, I wouldn't feel as bad. I'll be the first to admit it. Okay, okay, so focus, John. Focus, focus, focus. It's going... Maybe they're going clockwise. Oh my god, they are going... They're just going clockwise. So it has to be this one. Wait, didn't I just pick that one? Whatever. Oh, thank god. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Let's go. Let's have and go. Detonation circuit... <laughs> I was super overthinking that. It was a really easy cipher. Confirmed. Detonation circuit severed. Okay, now just two more. It's disarmed. Success. You did it. We saved the city. And you made sure uh, I survived. Thanks a ton. It's, it's too early to celebrate. Huh? There are two bombs left. The next countdown has already started. Oh my god, that's not but a lot. No, the time limit is. 45 minutes. But there's only two bombs left. That's fine. That's that fine. That's shorter than the last one, correct? Oh, uh, but how, how long does it take to get across town and get past all the peacekeepers? It's like a game. Almost like they're toying with us. It's not almost. They are absolutely toying with you. Otherwise, why make a mini game out of disarming bombs? Yeah, who's sadistic enough to do that? What's their goal in setting this up anyway? I was given a fake request to set up the bombs. And now they're making me disarm them with puzzles. They knew they'd get even more heat, and yet still issued a criminal declaration. What's their end goal? What are they trying to make me do? And truly, were they simultaneously bombs and cameras? Because Servon, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But he is the most suspicious. What was the resistance trying to... Yeah, what's their motive? Um, Yuma... Was no one besides your client home at the Resistance's estate? I couldn't check, truthfully. That reminds me. I don't think there was anyone else at the hideout. That is a little fishy. If they stayed there, they would have been caught. Right. Yeah, I'm sure one of the peacekeepers looked in that room. Maybe and saw. If any There's of no the there. client's family were about, we could have asked them about the circumstances. I don't think they'd be in the talking mood, Fubuki. Right. The resistance leaders must know something about this. But since they weren't at the hideout, I don't know where to find them. The one named Servan designated the camera locations. I've tried calling him on the transceiver, but there's no response. I have no idea where he could be. If they were planning to screw you over from the get-go, then that camera guy must have played a role in it. I don't know about that. Maybe he cooperated without knowing the circumstances, like me. That is totally pot. Dang, you're right. He could have just been played like a fiddle, too. There you go. Being a trusting <laughs> doormat. If you're I... a detective, then you gotta suspect everybody. That's true. Even Fubuki. Nah, she probably didn't do it. But, like, hey, I, I just try to see the good in everyone. You know? 
And I tried really hard to see the good, and you, Shinigami, like, eh, there wasn't a lot there. Anyway, let's head to the third bomb's location. All right, before they yes. explodes. The third one is in Kamasaki District. I hope the peacekeepers don't catch us before we get there. All right, that would be... <laughs> You're sure not moving <laughs> hand in hand with we keep it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Listen, you know me. I hate talking about shipping. It's just, it's just like, bro, like... <laughs> Who cares about that? But Fubuki and Yuma, they got that, like, brother-sister vibe going on. And I hope it stays that way. Don't make it effing weird. Wait, what What about cancers? What the? Hopefully it stays that way. And isn't, like... Uh, oh, crap. Again? Huh? Uh, you know, the song's playing. What is he doing? Huh? Brick or can? Brick. Chuck it. Ooh! Wow. Good throw. Right. <laughs> that was a nice pitch. Now's our chance. Okay. Man, I really wish I threw that can though. That would have been funnier. Dang it! It's not a true victory. Is this even near the? You bastards! Oh my god. Ooh. Don't move. What do I do? What do I do? You let me go. Whoa! Oh. Hey, wait! You oh, almost got some upper body strength. Hmm. <laughs> Fubuki, don't. <laughs> what a team. He's paralyzed now. Probably. Thank you. Eh, he's got Kevlar on. He's probably fine. Never let go of my hand ever again. Whoa. Who's there? What the heck? Who are you? Shh. You're too loud. It's me. Oh, I, I, Kurumi, I can explain. I can explain. You. She's just a friend. She's just, she's just like a big sister to me. I mean, that's so icky. I mean, biologically, we're not, but like, you know. Kurumi? Oh, you shouldn't be here. I really don't want you to die. What's the black girl doing here? Your screen time's already over. <laughs> hey, she she transcended her chapter. She's a big word Yuma's life, okay? I saw you on the news. You're a terrorist, Yuma? I didn't know either. I wasn't hiding secrets from you. I, I swear, Wendy. No. It's a misunderstanding. And besides, if I was, I would definitely tell you. I, I would tell you everything about me, you know. If you want to hear it, that is, that I'm a... I know. I'd never doubt my hero. Why is she so friendly with you? Go away! <laughs> By the way, Yuma. Yeah, about this. I'm... Despite everything going on, you're holding a woman's hand. <gasps> Guess you're not too bothered by it. I... Poor girl, she's probably... I can explain. No, this is a formality for the investigation. She ain't gonna believe that, bro! Pleased to meet you. My name is Fubuki. I am Yuma's partner. You stupid effing... I... Oh, I sorry I called you stupid, but do not ruin this for me! Partner? I'm so... Oh my god. Yes, in order to share time together, we clutch our hands tight to one another. I have no commentary. I'm dying of secondhand embarrassment. I'm so sorry. Until Yuma dies. No, even in death, I am sworn to never let go. She's doing this on purpose. There's no other explanation. Fubuki, stop it. Stop. Uh, huh. I'm so sorry. I'll buy you all the meat buns in the world, Wendy. I, I... Um, please don't misunderstand. This is necessary for the investigation. Dog, she gonna hire. She gonna hire Yako to make see if we're cheating, bro. Like this is mm -hmm. over. It truly is a harem, and I I don't want that. I just I, I just want Yuma in. Okay, we get it. Okay, can we just disarm the bomb? Oh my god! Right, I need to disarm the bomb. Huh? Bomb? There's another one? Yeah, it's pretty close by. Yeah, there's one right in front of us. This is the bomb. What's going on here? There's no time, so I'll make it quick. You shouldn't even made it quick! Yuma, you're so reckless! Dog, just tell her, Kurumi, run! And that's everything. We burned through everything, oh my god. I see. Yuma, you got dragged into a big mess. What can I say? I'm dangerous. 
It really does. Everywhere you go, luck goes with you. No, it does not. It is the opposite. He's the most unfortunate person there is. I'm not lucky. Hey, you got <laughs> me instead of luck. <laughs> Can we just anyway, do the minigame? Oh my god. So you only set up the bombs at those four locations? Yeah, and the last is your school, by the way. Uh, sorry. Hmm? Yeah, why? I hope you weren't planning on going to prom. Does Japan have prom? Does Kanai Ward have prom? I don't think Japan has prom. That's great. Do they have any dances? Oh my god. Anyway. Interesting. So the flooding in Maranomon District probably has nothing to do with it. What? Flooding? More than normal? Just a little while ago, a flood started in Maranomon District. Now it's over a meter underwater. What? Then it's definitely foul play to hide Shachi's body. Should it be because of the first explosion? Or maybe the peacekeepers. But the only damage back then was to the phone booth. I don't remember any pipes bursting. Yeah. I went to see where the explosion took place. There wasn't much damage to the surrounding area. But if it has nothing to do with the bomb, why is there flooding in Maranamon District? I truly don't know, but is anyone else just like, oh my god, disarm the bomb. We don't, we don't have time for this. We can talk about it after. Wow! It's straight up just... No! There's no way they designed that beautiful effing area and you just can't go back to it. No! Yuma, perhaps your concerns should be for the bomb at hand. I yes. believe we are running low on time. He's been right! We need to disarm that bomb right now! Kurumi, you need to get to someplace safe and hide. Wow, she actually just agreed. She was like, no, I'll never leave your side, you. No, she's gone. All right, let's do this. Oh, God, yes, please. Let's. Let this cipher be a little easier. It's going to involve those double pie slices this time. I'm... What? Oh. Up, left, down. Up, left, down. Then R for right. Easy. Sure took you a while, Johnny. Sure it's easy. Yeah, yeah, I just want to be thorough. Arming code accepted. Detonation circuit severed. Well, you came back, Rumi? Hold up. Confirmed. Detonation circuit severed. You had a lot of confidence in Yuma. Oh, I managed to disarm it. There's only one left. I do wonder how that puzzle worked in Japanese, though. Wait, Kurumi, you were here? Why didn't you run away? Well, I mean, Japan has a compass and has cardinals, so probably like that. But anyway... Uh, I want to do my part, too. <laughs> and be blown to smithereens in case I fail? While you disarmed the bomb, I was thinking the whole thing over. And I'm sure of it. Something must be happening behind the scenes here. Huh? What do you mean? I didn't really think that far, but think about it. It's gotta be the Illuminati. <laughs> the strange request you were given is one thing. But isn't this Shachi guy dying also bizarre? That criminal declaration being immediately sent to the peacekeeper seems out of place too. All that does is hurt the resistance's plans. Yeah. I... I really do think it was just there to crush the resistance. There was a mole. That's right, but... But who joined? I guess I want to be who joined the most recently, because that's not given to us, but... When laying out the facts on the surface, if something seems inconsistent, then there must be a hidden truth. I'm just repeating what my grandpa said, but I think it applies to this case. I see. I can't accept Shachi's death. I refuse to believe he would try to frame me and destroy the city. Right. When you could have just got anybody to do that. It doesn't make sense. It makes way more sense for an Amaterasu sympathizer or double agent to try and kill two birds with one stone. You know. He didn't seem like the type who'd do that. Or also that, but like, you know, I, I like my theory more, but. So we have to investigate. I'll go and check out the Resistance's hideout. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so adorable. <laughs> huh? You can't go there. The peacekeepers are all over Doya District. I'm Kanai Ward's best informant. 
I'll absolutely get any info that will help you solve the case. I'm really rooting for you, but that is not a good part of town, Wendy. I'm sorry. I'm so worried. Wait, you can't go there alone, Kurumi. It's too dangerous. Don't worry. It's not the first time I've taken risks. That's not a good reason. Once I'm done, we'll meet up at the hotel in Kamasaki District. The master detectives are staying there, right? Ah, uh, about that. I'm up. Oh my god, she's going to be... Uh... Wait, Kurumi! I'm so upset. You know she's going to... Because <laughs> one, they're going to do the damsel in distress thing. And that's going to suck. I don't like that trope. Ugh. But I already know what's happening. And I'm going... <sighs> Seems lively. Yeah, she's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm a little no, I'm really worried for her, but I have no choice except to trust her right now. Anyway, we need to handle the next bomb. The countdown has already started. This one is 30 minutes. The time limit got even shorter. Hey, it could be worse. Um, is the next bomb in a secret shrine in the middle of a desert? Surprisingly, no. No, it's in the shrubbery at Etheria Academy. Let's go disarm it. But, I mean, maybe there's not a lot of people at the academy right now. You know, school's out, right? So we can just kind of take our time. Right? Oh, hold on. That's... I what? just remembered. What's going on? One of the resistance leaders said he had a shop in Kamasaki District. Wasn't it the old guy? I own a small yeah. shop in Kamasaki District. Right, maybe he's there. Do we have time for that, we though? might be able to find resistance members there. We still have 30 minutes, so I think we can make it in time. Dude. Should we go pay him a visit? I would not. Like, that's one League of Legends game. You blink and that sucker's over. Hold up. Of course. Adventurers and detectives both seek out the truth. But where is this shop you speak of? We truly have no leads. And Kamasaki's pretty effing huge. Um, wait. Don't know why I said it that way. What kind of shop did Margala say he owned? I don't remember. I think it had something to... Oh, it was art. It was art. It was, uh, you know, propaganda posters. The old guy who said he hated Amaterasu, right? Probably some old guy shop. He sells mothballs, MacGyver DVDs, and shaving cream. Uh, that seems like all stuff old people like. An old guy shop? Let's look around and see if anything fits that description. Hmm, not really MacGyver. Definitely Columbo. That seems more accurate, but... Eh? Oh. It, you could, Yuma? Oh. Oh. Wow, we found it instantly. See? That sure looks like an old guy shop. I was totally right. Uh, uh, he's got lion dogs and... Antiques, I guess. And the Holy Grail! Look at that! Whoa! Hey, relax. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk. They're not here to kill me? Surprisingly, no. Kill you? Of course not. Well, let's just see how this chapter ends up. You know, I mean, <laughs> the first time Yuma, I. Just... Why would you think that? Ooh. You probably think the resistance framed you. No, I don't think that. And you didn't? <laughs> the request Shachi gave me has made me a suspect for terrorism. I, I know nothing about those bombs. I really don't. You don't know? Listen. Sure, uh, I'd love to see Amaterasu get blown up. But I wouldn't take advantage of someone uninvolved. Revenge must be taken with our own hands. Or it's meaningless. Well, he really does love his revenge. But yet again, we have to take everyone's word at face value. You may feel that way, but other members of the Resistance may feel differently. I manage all the bones. If this was planned by the team, there's no way I wouldn't have heard about it. So there really is a mole. This bombing is completely unrelated to the resistance. The only possible explanation is Shachi acted on his own. You're really quick to throw him under the bus, huh? Shachi? But Shachi committed suicide on the roof of your hideout. But what? Shachi's dead? That's impossible. What are you talking about? It's true. I found his body. The peacekeepers were chasing him before he shot himself in the head with his own gun. Oh, right. Yeah, there's no way you can know about that if he's here. That's not possible. Even if he was cornered, 
Shanti isn't the kind who'd kill himself. Really, he would just risk getting tortured or, you know, them giving him truth serum or something. Wait. Hold on. Did you say with his own gun? Yeah, yo, this is starting to get good. Let's is there something I should know about it? Yeah, what's, what the, what's the deal with the gun? I think so. After you left the hideout to do the job, something happened. Shachi had just returned to the office after mediating a fight. After that was done, he put the gun back in the safe and securely locked it. Right, the timing on the lock. So what? You sure are dense. Are you really a detective? Hey, that was this was discussed when I wasn't in the room. Do you remember that? What if Shachi's death was not a suicide, but a homicide? You think someone else took Shachi's gun from the safe and shot him? If that's the case, there aren't many people who can open that safe. There's still a chance Shachi took the gun out himself and maybe had it taken from him. No. The chances are far too slim. Because Shachi would never draw his gun. Why is that? Since the gun was concealed, don't you think it'd be difficult to take it from him? Even if you were up close? Well, then what are you getting at? What are you... Like, we're just going talking in circles. It's true. He didn't draw his gun in front of me. In fact, it even seems like he actively avoided doing so. The safe was only recently brought to the office. Not many people know how to open it. Only the leaders in the hideout at the time knew anything about it. So it really is one of the remaining... What the heck? They did it again. And it... Bro. Who the dumb could do it? I mean, it's gotta be one of these three, unless it is Margu Law. And this is just a, like, you know, a giant... Dog, why was she so hot? Like, I just don't get it. Like, come on. Like, come on, don't make it her. There's no way they make it her, right? Like, they... <laughs> Has there been a female anti... Well, yeah, there was last chapter, did I forget? Frick. I tru I truly didn't see that coming. But yeah, sorry sorry to cut you off, old man. We... Yeah. Okay. So yeah, only certain people knew about that safe and how to get his gun. The leaders at the hideout were... Icardi? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just not looked at the... Uh, profiles and let the game just you know, just keep mashing the A button, Jimbo. You're right. But... Sirvan, Iruka, and you, Margola. I had nothing to do with it. I returned to the store after you left the hideout and spoke to customers the whole time. Do you have those customers nearby that could give me a testimony? If you suspect me, then talk to them. I'm no liar. All right, so we're down to three suspects. So he has an alibi. I'd like to check what the customers say, but... No time. Yuma, we're low on time. Yeah. But it's not like Margula would know that. I'm sorry, Fubuki. Just a bit longer. Margula, do you know where the other leaders are? I don't know. I haven't gone back to the hideout since. What can you tell me about the other leaders? You want me to sell out my comrades? I mean, you get, you did kind of mess me up here, man. Meet me halfway. If only the leaders could have taken the gun and murdered Shachi, then they're all suspects. If one of them did murder Shachi, wouldn't you want to know? Yeah, and as a detective, I'm the best person to find out. To keep your resistance group mole free. You know what I mean? After all... That's why you told me about Shachi's gun, right? Mm, fine. I'll tell you. Oh, he's got some sense. I like this guy. Who should I ask about? Alright. <laughs> Pretty obvious. <laughs> Can you tell me about Iruka? I'm sorry, she's vo she's got Igus's voice. How can I resist? The only woman leader in the resistance. She's unruly with no glamour or charm. I think she's kind of charming in a creepy sort of way. She has a ruthless personality, too. I hear she was once a competitive shooter. She and Shachi often trained with firearms together. As you know, Shachi never tried to rely on his gun. What do you mean by competitive shooting? Handguns, sniping, clay pigeons, rifles. She's an athlete who can use anything. 
Shachi's gun was specially made. It was designed by Aruka. Really? Okay. And what's the deal with it loading on the other side? It's ironic that it was used to take his life. It's almost too obvious that it's Iruka. Like, why would you... You know, if you really wanted to kill him, she had, hypothetically, a huge crush on him. It's like, no, he can't love anyone but me. In fact, he can't even love me. I will have to kill him. With his own gun that I crafted for him. Like, you... You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's kind of kind of not a well-thought-out plan. Right. Okay. Anyway, Ikari. You want to say Ikari? Can you tell me about Ikari? He was originally a competitive swimmer. He's proud of his physical prowess and works as a delivery man. Yeah, we know this old man. Come on. I heard Shachi himself invited him to join the resistance. Okay, so might not be the mole. He's an athlete? Do you have more details about that? I don't know much more than that. Though he did say he was good at any sport that requires diving into water. He's also intelligent and good at what he does, but seems apathetic toward other people. Not a lot to go on there. Hmm. <laughs> Margula, tell me about that Margula fella. He's a little suspicious. Well, he sure's not the most good looking, and ladies say his breath. Wait a minute, that's me! Anyway, we'll do Servon. Can you tell me about Servon? He manages all the mechanical tinkering for the resistance. Although security devices are his specialty, he also knows how to make bombs. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon? Bombs? Yeah, I, so I think I, I believe that. He originally specialized in them. But I doubt he'd do anything flashy, given his personality. What does that mean? He's a beta. He's always a beta. He'd never do this, I swear. He tends to be a shut-in and was bullied in the past. I heard a classmate pushed him into an irrigation channel in Marunamon District as a prank some time ago. Huh. Well, that matches up with the fact that it's flooded now, right? He miraculously survived. But he was knocking on death's door for three days. Oh my god. He didn't speak to anyone for a few years after that. Machines were his only friends. I sympathize truly, but like, bro, uh, what I gotta do with it? Why you gotta blow me up? Even now, he's traumatized from that close call drowning. He told me he still has flashbacks about it. Something tells me Kanai Ward doesn't have the best therapist, so yeah, that... Man, that sucks. Okay. There's a lot pointing it to... There's a lot of this pointing it to everyone except Icardi. Does anyone else notice that? The gun is kind of a Ruka. Servon knows how to build bombs. Also, has a vendetta against a certain part of town, right? That's been flooded. But then there's Magula. You just... Oh, what the freak? Like, tell me honestly. Tell Who me are you? Yourself, hey. I'm just an ordinary old man. If anything, I was a former Amaterasu employee. I mentioned this before, but I handled the financials. About the alibi you mentioned, can you prove it in any way? Yeah, I got any receipts? I just told you! I was speaking to customers! You want me to bring them over? No, just did they buy anything? Think about it. No, I don't have time. Then check the shop security camera. Oh. The footage is all here. Unharmed. Dang, that's a rock solid alibi then. Here's the footage. Take well, it with you. Thank you. Wow. Given that confidence, I bet his alibi is legit. Yeah, I mean. That's just down to the three. Yeah. I mean, almost literally all evidence points to him, and this CD just happens to be fake. I don't think the game would go in that direction. Seems like we got some information about their leaders. We got a lot. I want to hear more, but... Shouldn't you be thinking about the case after you disarm the bomb? Yes. If you fail to disarm it, you'll turn into dirty fireworks. Right. Let's go and disarm the bomb now. Is it even that dirty? Margala. Like, Thank am I for that... the information. I mean, I, just, I stared at shooting on his boobs for a second, but like... If any of the that... resistance leaders come here, please mention I'm looking for them. Will do. At any rate, 
You better believe Amaterasu's pulling the strings on this one, too. Dog, no doubt. I hope you can upstage them on behalf of Shachi and me. My best. But if it's the not last a mole, one is in a secret fort on top of a snowy mountain, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, and you gotta play the flute time or whatever to get to it. No, it's in the shrubbery at Etheria Academy. Let's hurry. We can't let it explode. Right. Okay, so things are sort of looking up a little bit. Like, yeah, Shaichi's dead. That sucks, but we got we got some alibis. And there's probably not going to be a lot of people that are going to get mad that we're going to Etheria. Like, I don't think it'll be that heavily guarded. Right? Right? Hurry! Hurry up and turn green! Hey! Don't move! <laughs> Whoa. What did you do? Did you have to jump? What was up with that? Can you cross traffic? Like, when it's... Like that? Oh yeah, he totally can. It's not like a force field. Oh my god! Oh, f I swear. That oh, you said the QTEs are really easy, Johnny. Remember that? Uh, yeah, I do. Left, 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 left. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Jesus. Did they make the I effed up again. I was like, did they make these hard on purpose so you always use these abilities? I. Oh, thank God. Alright. Are you alright, Fubuki? Yes. I believe I can carry on. She's used it like five times this episode. I'm not ready for what the last puzzle is going to be. Oh, well, here we are. Right? Oh, yeah. There it is. No guards or anything. Perfect. Oh, man. I'm so nervous. I'm going to look stupid on the internet. I mean, more than usual, but. Like, truly, can I can I crack this last one? Changed. This is the last bomb. We still have time, so please remain calm. Right, right. Deep breaths. Just straight into it. All right, you love to see it. Let's just get it done. Suck it up. Let's go. We have. Oh, what? Um. That would be a. Uh, what? It would it, it'd be this. No, it's not. Error. Error. Sorry. That's really tough, bro. You're kidding. I, I don't understand the... Wait, it doesn't have to be either this or this? Um. Uh, because, yeah, because there's a blank square. This one. No, come on. No. Oh, there's a three blank squares. Freaking Jesus. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah! It's only 20 seconds. It's not epic fair. That's not epic fair. Are you serious? Break down. Break down. <laughs> okay. Okay. Start. Start with the blank square. Wait. Wouldn't that, that mean it has to be this one? Uh, guess not. What the fuck? Wait. It's just a block. But from what orientation? It's not the first. Maybe this one. All right, Disarm whatever. Code accepted. Detonation circuit severed. It really was just that simple. I focused too hard on the black box. I'm such a dunce. Confirmed. Detonation <sighs> circuit severed. Thank God. Oh, wonderful. It's disarmed. Oh, it came off. Oh, thank God. We're done. Congratulations, Yuma. You have graduated from being in Paris. <laughs> Oh, I can't take screenshots. Come on. Wait, is <laughs> That's that so it? funny. Doesn't this seem too easy? Dude, why are you complaining? Hold up. The screen is pitch black and won't turn on. And after all that noise about the revolution, there's no closing message. Yeah, it is sort of weird. What is the matter, Yuma? You look like the chief when he misses the chance to have a meat bun. I'm surprised it came off so easily. Yeah, it's kind of like a hollow victory. I was prepared to be strung along by this game a bit longer than this. Perhaps this is the fairness and equality that the terrorists yearn for? Uh, I don't know about that. You won in a fair game. Your opponent must admit defeat. I hope that's the case. <laughs> it definitely wasn't fair, by the way, but... How is this fair? There's nothing fair about it. You were framed as a terrorist and forced into a game you didn't agree to. Uh, 
you're, you know, that sounds kind of, that's rich coming from you. You when know that, right? Does cowardly stuff like that also admit defeat so easily? Yeah, that. So you're saying disarming all the bombs doesn't mean our opponent has lost? I think, I think something's going to happen in the slums. If that's the case, what was the point of the bomb threat? What was I being made to do? To distract us, maybe? Make sure we're not at the slums? Where the evidence is? Fubuki, I don't think this is over yet. Huh? Are there <sighs> more bombs? No, I think this string of terror acts using the bombs needs to be reconsidered. We still haven't figured out the mastermind behind this case. So now we face whoever is behind this terror conspiracy? <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment. Now we are in an adventure detective story. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are, huh? Where do we start our investigation? Back of the slums, I believe. Uh, that reminds me. I promised I'd meet Kurumi at the hotel. Oh, right, silly me. Huh. Forgot we had a date. Fubuki, let's head to the hotel in Kamasaki District for now. And now we can explain to Kurumi, thank God. All right. And so our investigation adventure begins. Though I must say, man, all the other detectives being MIA for this whole chapter, like, that's that's kind of wild. They're not going to show up at all? Fingers crossed. Vivius just in the hotel in his usual spot. Hey, Yuma. I feel like that's just wishful thinking. Yeah, he's not here. <laughs> Dang it. Kurumi isn't here yet. Wow. I feel much more relieved being back at the hotel. I rarely ever run around like this, so I am feeling quite winded. Yeah, Lord knows you used the power like 19 times back there. Well, let's rest on the sofa until Kurumi arrives. I hope she's okay. Me too, bro. Oh, Stan, sit on a sofa. I'll get there in a second. I just... Bro, I'm tired. <laughs> this is exhausting. I mean, I'm just playing a video game, but you, you know, it's just... This was a stressful one. If you enjoy the series, thank you so much for continuing to watch. Like, things really... That's whiplash, bro. Like, it's either got to be Servon, freaking uh, the girl of my dreams, who I can't remember the name of. I mean, she's not... She, she ain't all that. Like, she got a sexy voice. That's it, bro. Like, what else she bringing to the table other than empty ammo cartridges? Like, come on. But these three killed Shai Chi. What the heck? We'll find out, I guess, the motive in the next episode. Master Deck of Archive Ranko. I've been recording for four hours, so I should probably wrap it up. But see you next time with more. Where we thoroughly explain a lot of things to Kurumi that, like, you know, we're not a terrorist and we're not a master detective. Please, Yuma, please do that. Don't blow this. Also, what is... Did anyone, did anyone see that wine glass floating? Now is that from weird?